Here we have a very nice looking 2011 Toyota RAV4 in grey. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, we're looking at around 4mm of tread there. Offside front alloy. Does appear to be in nice condition, no signs of any curbing or any scuff marks at all. There's one or two light scratches, so very nice condition there. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, taking a look at the bodywork itself. Um, can't spot any dents, can't spot any dinks either, looks very clean to the offside. Uh, offside from uh, corner however, on the arch there itself there's a very deep scratch, I can get my nail into that without... Um, without a problem there so that is a very deep scratch you've got a bit of a scuff here it's took away the paint and also another bit of a deep scratch there so it's had a bit of a scuff on this um, offside front corner so be aware of that also a very deep scratch there just below the front fog light um, moving around to the other side of the arch looks okay mirror looks in good condition Drive's door, being a dark colour, it's going to show every scratch under the sun, so there is a couple of light scratches that just require polish. A couple of touchings to the door edge as well. One or two scratches to the sills. You've got rear privacy glass. Rear passenger door, again, just one or two light scratches brushing down the paintwork of there, so again, just requires a, uh, a good polish. Um, door edge looks fine on the rear door edge, and the rear arch appears to be in good condition. The same with the rear quarter. Rear tyre, we're looking at around 3mm of tread. Offside rear alloy, again good condition, no curbing or any scuff marks, nice clean alloy. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the rear of the car itself, there is quite a few scratches to the rear tailgate, also a couple of scuffs, so a bit of a touching and a good polish to the back there as well. There's quite a lot of light scratches. Near side rear quarter, we've got some light scratches to the paintwork again. Um, but that's all I can really see, no real sign of any major damage. Um, as you can see, you've got keyless entry into the vehicle. As you can see, you've got your parcel shelf here. Nice clean condition, and you've got uh, some bits and bobs in there as well. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, and we are looking at around 3mm on the near side rear tyre. Near side rear alloy also in a very clean condition, no curbing or scuff marks at all are there. Looking at the near side of the vehicle, uh, we've got a bit of a dent on the near side rear arch there. Uh, if we just try and focus in, as you can see here it's uh, slightly raised or creased into the rear arch along with some light scratches. Um, so again it would really benefit from a good polish. A lot of light scratches moving down at the rear door edge. Some chips in the front door edge there, and again, some light scratches moving down towards the front arch. Looking at the front tyre, again, good 4mm there. Near side front alloy, again, no curbing or any scuffs. There's a little bit of a chip at the bottom there, but apart from that, nice clean condition. Some light scratches on the near side front arch. Um, front of the vehicle, um, can't see any signs of any damage, just one or two light stone chips, and one or two stone chips to the bonnet as well. Taking a look at the interior of the vehicle, we are looking at half leather and an Alcantara finish. It is absolutely immaculate in the back here. Leather looks great, so does the uh, the sort of Alcantara. Uh, great condition inside, nice and clean. Back of the seats are immaculate, even the carpets are nice and clean as well. So real nice clean condition in the interior. Taking a look at the driver's seat and front passenger. Once again, a nice clean condition. Slight bit of wear in there to the bolster as you can see, but again that's just age related. And the front passenger seat's also in a nice clean condition. Dashboard etc is immaculate, steering wheel's in good condition as well. As you can see you've got your electric seats there. Take a look inside the vehicle itself. Now we have got two sets of keys, but it is a push start, so as long as the keys are in the vehicle. No problems at all starting the vehicle, just start first time. As we can see there, mileage, looking at 19,038 miles on the clock. No symbols appearing on the dash that you need to be aware of either. You have a multi-function steering wheel with your gears behind the wheels as well, your pedals. Nice condition to the wheel. You've got a nice touchscreen media here, as you can see your navigation working perfectly fine. No problems at all with the radio, again works perfectly fine as you can see here. All touchscreen works great, so no issues there. We've also got the air conditioning, as you can see light indicating there it's on and off does come out nice and cold and there's no problems at all with any of the blowers either so everything looks and works great also got your heated seats down here left and right seat works perfectly fine auto transmission taking a quick look at the documents 
Looking at the V5, the car's had two owners. Um, it hasn't got an MOT certificate, but we have checked MOT expires 19th of the 10th, 2014. So the MOT will expire 19th of next month. So be aware of that. Um, service history, uh, we've got one at Lexus and one at T uh, Toyota. 8,000 there and 9,000 there, so it will require service very close. We've got no service lights showing, and I do believe the vehicle has got a um, a service sort of plan here with the vehicle. As you can see, a service plan certificate, etc. Um, so it does look like it's got a, a service um, plan with the vehicle, which is nice. There you go, that is the 2011 Toyota RAV4 uh, SRD Cat Automatic in grey. You've got half leather, um, automatic transmission, heated seats, navigation, um, so there's some nice features to the vehicle. A little bit of cosmetic damage on the outside, nothing serious, but uh, for a car of sage it's in nice condition.